Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm very excited to announce I'm finally doing my first shoe review for a, a company called Hilo. They're a sustainable shoe uh, manufacturer that use only sustainable uh, materials for all their shoes. They're not a quick shoe, this is an everyday trainer to use for my easy runs and uh, maybe even for my strength and conditioning sessions that I'm trying to do a bit more of. They use materials like corn spring, natural rubber, organic cotton and even algae bloom. When you compare this to the other materials that uh, non-sustainable shoe manufacturers wear, like let me just give an example, Nike, they use a certain sort of material or I don't know if it's an oil to manufacture their shoes called petroleum which is not sustainable at all and actually can take hundreds of years to degrade and most often ends up in landfill. Hilo their aim is to use everything that's sustainable and renewable uh, in the production of their shoes so being a vegan well not a vegan but I am to eat quite a plant-based diet um, I know in my last video I tried to reintroduce meat but I'm actually moving back to a more plant-based diet as I feel a lot better on it and I didn't really enjoy eating meat again. So that's for another video, but we'll touch on that. Uh, like I said in another video, this video is about these shoes. So as you can see, haven't opened the box, leaving it all for this review. So we'll open the packaging here. Okay. Let's get rid of the box. Chuck the box away. Chuck these. I never know why shoe companies put these in. If someone can put in the comments why, is it to keep their shape? That's what I've always thought. These sort of shoehorn things, I don't know what they're called exactly. I just think it's an extra bit of things that have to be put in the recycling. But Okay, so on first sort of impression, you can see the tread of the shoe is quite, there's not much tread there. so might might be a bit slippy in wet conditions but like i said the aim of these shoes is to be worn in a gym for easy sort of road running um just like an everyday trainer weight isn't too bad i'd say maybe 250 grams um for the pair i haven't got scales to hand so can't be exact of this but all around i'm i'm quite liking the shoe uh of course it's nothing that that special um you can see just on here you can read that it says all the ingredients which is quite a nice touch um to actually make the shoe like corn spring corn fiber even natural rubber corn based reinforcement algae bloom uh water based glue which is really good that's very sustainable um and water based ink so you can see their aim with this shoe is to really use those renewable materials and make something that can be used and used again and maybe even I, I, need, I would need to reach out to Hilo themselves but maybe even when you're once you're done with these shoes I can send them back uh, to make more Hilo shoes that'd be a good idea wouldn't it but first impressions uh, that's what this video is about I'll do a initial um, sort of first run review as well uh, which will go up after this one I'm yet to of course try them out so I'm quite yeah, I'm curious to see what they're like to actually run in as they they don't they seem more of like a gym trainer. That's what my first impressions are. Um I wouldn't be running loads of miles in these. Um I think they're gonna be a nice thing to use for my strength and conditioning sessions that I'm trying to do more of. Um I'll be doing two of those a week. So yeah, very excited to get these get these in for some testing. But nice little quote on the tongue here. As you can see, it says athletes for planet um, running and then I know a little date there. That's kind of in interesting. But yeah, like I said, um, they feel like quite a quality trainer. Uh, I got sent these out for free, but they do go for 110 British pounds, which is around, I think, I don't know the exchange rate exactly, but I'd say around $150 to anyone that's watching in America. But you can tell that they're, they're well made. Um, of course, they use the renewable uh, material usage of them as well. That is probably a more expensive process than using non-renewable materials. But yeah, very excited to give them a try. Um, and yeah, 
very, very can't thank Hilo enough for sending them out to me. Uh, but not really much more to say. They're not reintroduced, like reinventing the shoe. Uh, no carbon plate in these. I'm not going to be like Seth James Demore and saw them up. Um, just a very basic review from me as a first impressions. But first impressions is good. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use them for my gym sessions. I will test them uh, for an easy run, and maybe even I'll even try and do some intervals and just see how how they respond. But yeah, they've got just having a feel now. They've got a good bit of. I mean, they haven't got much flex, which might actually aid um, to propel me as I go a bit quicker. So. I think it might be quite interesting to see as I drop the pace uh, what happens um, when I'm going down to say 520 per mile and how they respond. But yeah, very nice shoe. Thank you again to Hilo for sending them out. And I'll do a first run impression uh, video next. So stay tuned for that. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.